Hello and welcome to another bike restoration. This, believe it or not, is exactly how I purchased the bike. It's got no headset, no handlebars, no brake levers and uh, no tyres. But all the gearing systems are working fine and what a gearing system it is. It's uh, Elite's uh, custom crank and we've also got this Simplex rear mech. Really, really nice uh, gears on this. And uh, the actual front mech is actually just bolted on there itself. Very special bike this. It's uh, from 1982, and believe it or not, and it's going to be a bit of a struggle to get hold of these brake levers, um, but it's actually a 100th anniversary bike, really nice Peugeot bike this. What it is and what's special about it is it's the first attempt at aerodynamics, so it's got inlay brakes, I say it's unusual for a 1982, but what also is really unusual is these gear levers, really loving these. They're actually built, just built up from the actual frame itself, and what happens is, it's actually got inlaid cables, uh, but it's actually into an aero frame as well. So it's first attempt at aerodynamics. So yeah, it should be a really good bike to clean up and do up. What I have noticed though already is on the frame itself, um, there has been some repair done. Someone's used a silver spray. And I uh, noticed that the original bike at the front here is actually a pearlescent white. So I'm gonna rub that down, see how we are, take the frame apart. The wheels themselves are in really good order, so I just need to get some tires for them and also Needs a new saddle as well, so a lot of researching and getting hold of the bits for this one, but it should be a good one once it's all done. As I say, it's an iconic bike and it's a 100th anniversary, so yeah, let's take it back and restore it and uh, crack on. Right, okay, well that's the frame all stripped down. The bottom bracket, the spindle itself, uh, quite a bit of rust on that. I don't think that's ever been serviced uh, since 1982. Um, the frame itself now, we just need to clean this up, get all this spray off, or what we can off, and uh, yeah, we're gonna take it from there. I've left the cables in situ in the frame itself, uh, the gear cable and the brake cable, just purely as a guide for when I guide the new um, cables through. So yeah, it should be good, but uh, yeah, a bit of work to be done. Right, okay, well where are we up to? Well, the frame's all stripped and I've managed to get most of the silver spray off the back of the frame itself, as revealed a couple of sins uh, where the frame itself has been rubbed down to the bare metal. It's not a too big a problem, but it will mean uh, cleaning up and spraying. So I'll be priming that first of all with a white primer, and then I've managed to get hold of a pearl white spray, and I'll finish it off with a lacquer itself. So that's the frame, and we're up to with that. Everything else, I've managed to get hold of an ATAX head stem, I've got some handlebars, and the original brake levers. Quite hard to obtain, I got them from France, uh, so I've managed to get the original brake levers back from 1982, which are the aero levers, quite difficult to actually put back together with regards to the cable going in there. Um, it was quite fiddly, but we've managed to do it. So we've pie pieced that part of the puzzle together. The other problem I've got is the seat stem, which is an unusual seat stem, I don't know if any of you have actually put Peugeot's together, 24 millimeter. Uh, seat stem but the actual top of it has been damaged with the clamp itself it's been clamped on too hard and basically it's crushed the tube itself so I need to get hold of a new head stem as well needs to locate some pedals and also what I really would like to do is get a hold of the original aero uh, profile uh, water bottle quite expensive these and hard to obtain again so it is becoming a bit of a difficult project to put together but very rewarding in the meantime as well so Let's crack on with this frame and see how that comes out and we'll take it from there. Right, okay, well we're ready to start spraying the frame itself. I've, I've masked all the decals up. I'm um, gonna start with a white primer and then I've got a pearlescent white uh, spray. I'm gonna take the masking tape off then, touch up any of the decals themselves and finish off with a clear lacquer. Before spraying though, what I would say, just make sure that the, the spray can itself has been warmed up to room temperature 
and also the frame itself that's been warmed up so yeah we're ready to start spraying and uh, once we've done that then we'll take it from there and look at getting the bike back together Okay, well, where are we at? We've just finished off with a lacquer. Just to reiterate exactly the process that we've just done, we've rubbed down the frame itself, got rid of any rust, then we've used a masking tape just to cover any decals up, used a primer, and then we've used a pearlescent white spray, which the frame was originally in. Once we've done that, once the uh, paint's actually gone hard, we've removed the masking tape, we've got the colours uh, to actually touch up the decals themselves with a very fine brush, and then just finished off with a lacquer. So all that's left now is to wait 24 hours for this to go hard and up and then we can carry on. Okay, well the time's arrived, finally, to get this bike packed together. Seat post has uh, arrived, I managed to locate one of these from Germany, 24mm, so that's a replacement seat post, uh, lovely little piece of kit. Um, we've got all the equipment all laid over, over the side there, the handlebars have already been done. Uh, with the inlaid cables, they were a bit tricky to get in uh, but everything's there laid ready to assemble the bike. What I have managed to get hold of as well, this one's come from Denmark, is the original water bottle. So I've managed to get hold of the profile water bottle which was originally on the bike. Very happy that I've managed to get hold of this, this was like the missing piece. So it's like the icing on the cake so to speak. So yeah, all that's left to do now is get the bike back together, let's crack on. Okay, well, that's the bike all put back together. Compared to how the bike came in and to how it looks now, it's a complete and utter transformation. So really happy and I'm really happy that I've dug deep to find these parts, put this back how it was originally. The water bottle itself really does set it off, so yes, I'm really glad I went the extra mile to get a hold of that. Um, the bike itself was a little fiddly to put back with all the cables inlaid into the frame in itself. From 1982 though, aero framing, it's got, even got the aero hoods. So yes, I'm really excited about getting this bike out and giving it a ride. Um, and yeah, it's been absolutely fabulous. Really love the gearing system, simplex rear mech and a super custom crank. As I say, back from the 80s, it's been a cracking bike to do, so let's get it out. Okay, well, really made up with this one. Back from 1982, really happy with the finish. I've actually overwhelmed myself with this one, I think. The water bottle itself really does finish it off and it's uh, been a piece that has been worth the money itself just to put back on there. The ride is great and I just can't believe it's 1982. With all the inlaid cables and all the aerodynamics of the bike, it really does show that back then it was really thinking about it. Really enjoyed it though, and uh, yeah, so it'll be sad to see this one go. I do actually want to keep hold of this one, but I can't keep hold of them all, so it will be going up for sale. If you do enjoy watching the videos, then please subscribe and uh, drop us a like. So until next time, bye for now.